Hi everyone, it's Max Power and I've got a video review. This is from a company called Inside Collectibles and they've recreated the astrolabe from the Game of Thrones inspired from the beginning of the show. Um, this item actually comes bundled with the book. There's no way you can buy this by itself. So if you don't have the book, which is a pop-up book, uh, if you don't have the book, this would be a nice set to have. Uh, when I was looking to buy this, I couldn't find any videos of this item, but I could find tons of videos of the pop-up book. So, you know, it kind of was uh, an interesting thing to try to find some someone that maybe had bought this. So I wasn't able to find it. So. I went ahead and just uh, bought it because I'm a big fan of the show, love the show. Um, I'm always binge watching all the episodes and uh, you, sometimes I even have it on in the background playing. So, you know, I wanted to have something unique from the show uh, that wasn't a sword or wasn't anything like that. I do have the long claw uh, and I have another sword coming. So... I, I will do the reviews on those ones when they come in and put them side by side. But for now, I just wanted to do a, a video review on just this alone. Because again, tons of videos on the pop-up book. Now, if you buy the bundle, the advantage of buying the, the bundle is that you get the pop-up book, uh, the slipcase. So when you buy the book alone, you just get the book. You don't get the slipcase. So that's nice that you get the slipcase when you buy the bundle. The bundle itself is $495. Um, that's quite a bit of money for something like this. So that's just something to consider. But again, you do get the book with it. Uh, the book alone is about $65. So when you, when you think of it as individual things, you're paying $430 for this item alone. So... The astrolabe is about 13 and a half inches, so it's not a big item. Uh, so it doesn't have a big footprint, but you know, if anyone's been collecting for a while, they know that uh, for $400, you can get a, a pretty big size statue here. You're just getting uh, 13 and a half inches uh, of a collectible. So, you know, that's if that's something for, for people when they're looking at uh, prices. Or something like this but if you're a big game of thrones fans this is something that i think is really unique it's nice to have uh if you if you don't have anything else from the show all right let's get into the actual item let's get real close here and let me take off the camera here because i need to get in here and show you guys the details that that have been put into this in some of the in one of the videos I saw in there it it, it kind of shows like the the animals up here the four animals they spin they do not spin so the only reason it's turning is because I have it on my lazy Susan but this is all attached nothing spins it doesn't move none of the animals move or anything like that so it's stationary uh, the only thing that moves is the rings up here so that's just something if anyone had seen the video and they've seen this part of it being spinning it's not this at all it's they probably have it on the table all right so details 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 let me get in here we'll start at the base right here uh they have the four animals of the you know the four animals representing the sigils of the four houses the big houses of the westeros we'll start with the wolf so the details on this again all this is copper so really solid pieces here all right and then we have the dragon really nice how they did the scale the wings so there is a high level of craftsmanship here guys it's not just this cheap thing that you're getting here there is really craftsmanship put into this so you know anything that's copper uh, or metal 
or you know that kind of material you're going to be paying for that alone all right here's the lion in the house of lannister A stag, House Baratheon. Let's see if I can get even closer here so you really get some of that detail. The Dire Wolf, House Stark. Back to the Dragon. All right, heading to the to the top here. So solid again. This is all connected right here to this one. I guess it would be kind of like a stand really for it. So this holds all of the rings together. And here, let's some of the details here. This is the insignia of Game of Thrones. Kind of. Letting you know that this is from the show. As you can see, really just real nice detail there. All the way around. Getting even closer. There we go. All right, moving on to this to the other rings here. We have the let's get to the ring here. Now, this is the primary ring. This is supposed to have the history of Westeros. So, there we go. Fans of the show will recognize a lot of this has been covered in the show many times. Get in here. Oh, it's upside down, so let me bring it up. There we go. Okay, here we go. The way they made this is they've made it so it turns so so well that uh, you know it's hard to keep it still but a lot of detail here just really nicely done all right and move on to the other rings the there's this ring right here i think this is this has no detail i think it's just for uh for weight you know, so it can keep the momentum of the ring spinning when you turn it. You have this ring here. In the middle. Some designs on here. It's really hard to do this because it just wants to spin all over the place. All right, let's move on. Uh, let's see if I can get to the other ring. Now, this ring right here has the... Uh, some more sigils on here. There you go. So there's sigils of other houses on here as well. Let's see if I can get in really close here. Oh, did I lose the ring already? Let's see. There we go. Yeah, so it's nice that they've included other other houses on here. So that was kind of a surprise for me. I think I was thinking that they were just going to uh, show the four major houses. Uh, but as you can see, there's other other houses being represented on the ring itself. So really nice 
that they did that. And then of course you got the fire. There's this little thing in here. Got a ball metal or a, a, a metal ball in here for balance. And that's the sun. That's what you would see glowing in the show. So a nice detail on that as well. All right. So, and again, it's really just turns and moves and really nice the way they did this. So very sturdy and um, just moves real nice. Okay. Now going back to the slip case, um, the slip case is, is, is real nice as well. You have the, uh, the sigils on here. It really, it's uh, in the surface. I don't know what the word is, but it's been stamped in there. So definitely there's some nice detail that they did on the slip case. So that's kind of that little bonus that you get when you get the bundle. Turn it around. There's nothing behind it there. If you're looking for the a uh, pop-up book for the Game of Thrones, this really is a nice thing to have. Uh, again, you can get that separately. Well, you can get that. Uh, by itself at $65 or probably even cheaper on Amazon or somewhere here But if you want to get this you have to get this there's no way around it Unless you can find someone that's willing to just sell you this piece by itself All right one last turn here So Game of, Fan, uh, Game of Thrones fans out there, if you want something unique, something to have a conversation piece, something to have on your desk uh, to show that you enjoy the show, that you love the show, I do recommend this. Uh, it is a little expensive, $430, but it's not plastic, it's not resin, you're talking copper here, so you know that's what you're paying for. Uh, as far as the price and the level of detail that they've put into this and of course the uniqueness of it uh, there's been the throne that's been done by dark horse i believe you know uh, i think a, th a 12 inch throne there's a seven inch throne and um, when you think of game of thrones you think of the of the throne itself but uh, you know if you want uh, something that also i think is as iconic as the throne itself, I think this is something to consider uh, for your own collection. All right, guys, so if you have any questions uh, or any comments, please leave those and I will get back with you as soon as I can. I appreciate you spending time with me uh, with this video review. If, uh, if there's anything else, um, I guess I bid you farewell. Thank you. And I will talk to you soon with another video of something else that I've that I have coming so stay tuned we'll see ya bye